Good morning. Thanks for joining me today. Let's start this routine by reaching towards the floor with our nose to our knees. Nice deep stretch. Spread your legs apart and swing your arms from side to side. Loosen up those hips by holding onto your elbows. Just let go of all that tension. Maybe lean to the left, put an arm up, walk over the other side, lean to the right, other arm up. Feel that nice stretch. You just want to loosen up, let go of any, any kinks, any tension. Now let's get down on the floor and stretch your legs far apart. Scoot up so you can really get into this position. Let's swing around in a counterclockwise motion, just like a windmill, and stretch as far as you can, reaching the sky to your toes, to the front and center, and all around. Now let's go the other way. Feel free to point your toes. It's not necessary. Now let's stretch over to the right and stretch over to the left. Great job, you guys. Now walk your hands forward and try to ease your head down to the floor. No need to push too far, just where you're comfortable. Now back into a seated position, put the heels of your feet together and bring them towards you. Flop your wings, feel the stretch, push your knees towards the floor, push your feet a little more out in front of you, lean over, feel an even deeper stretch. Let's get back down on the ground, with your legs out straight in front of you. Arms up high and lean over your legs. If you'd like to keep your feet flexed, you will feel a different stretch from pointing your toes. Why not try both? Try to get your nose to your knee or whatever feels comfortable. Now you can put your left leg up towards your knee to get more of a unique stretch. Other way with your right foot up to your left knee. Now your right knee can go over your left leg and you can give a nice twist. And let's do the other side. Now let's go back into downward dog. Wiggle around, loosen up. And let's throw that right leg up high. Maybe it falls over, maybe it doesn't. Put that left leg up high to the sky, working out all that tension in your legs. Now get down into more of a plank pose. Make sure your hands and wrists are right underneath your shoulders. And we're going to tumble our elbows down to the ground while pushing back up to a push-up position. This is gonna work quite a few muscles in your arms. Feel free to do about 10 or so, just enough to barely break a sweat. All right, now we're back in a plank position again. Now you can hold yourself in this plank or you can intensify it to an ab workout by bouncing your hips from left to right. You can speed it up or slow it down, whatever you need this morning. Push yourself up and let's lower your hips down into a cobra. If you'd like to lean back towards child's pose, but then bring those hips back around in a circular kind of motion, this will really open up your hips. It's one of my favorite deep stretches. Feel free to alternate directions to work out all that tension. Now lean all the way back and let's do a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. 
Let's get into a tabletop position. We are going to raise our left leg and our right arm. Find a nice balance. And we're going to crunch the elbow to the knee. Just a few of these on each side. Make sure your left wrist is under your left shoulder and your right knee is right under your right hip. Nice deep crunches here. Take your arm and grab the opposite leg behind you for an even deeper stretch. Now get ready to put your right leg up and your left arm up to do the same exercise the opposite way. And don't forget to keep your body aligned with your right wrist right under your right shoulder and your left knee right under your left hip. Now reach back with your left arm to grab that right ankle and pull for a nice deep stretch. Almost done. You want to sit back and put your right leg over your left knee. Interlace your hands underneath the thigh and pull towards your chest. Feel free to straighten your leg or just keep it at a comfortable position. And let's do the other side. Keep breathing. It feels so good. Now time to stretch out your arms. Grab your elbow and push it towards your opposite shoulder. And let's get the triceps by pushing the elbows down towards your lower back. You can kind of bend in the stretch to get your sides and obliques as well. Let's finish off with some head rolls. Roll that neck around in each direction. For an even deeper stretch, take your hand and pull your head towards the floor, real slow and deeply. Let's do it on the other side. You can interlace your hands and push your head down towards the floor for a really deep spinal stretch. Be careful with this one. Listen to your body. Take a big deep breath and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks for joining me. See you on the next one.